Thanks so much for staying with us this morning. Now, according to the World Health Organization, cervical cancer and vaginal bacterial infections are also caused by poor quality sanitary pads, if you're privileged enough to have access to pads in the first place, of course. Now, based on this research, businesswoman and Mokome Foundation founder, Dr. Vivian Mokome, who is here in the studio with us, has created organic sanitary pads, which she says are safe, comfortable and don't leak. She's also been licensed by the education department to manufacture and distribute her product to 6,000 schools across the country. And I'm so glad that she's been able to make the time to join us this morning to talk to us about the work that she and her foundation is doing. And with her, the director of the foundation, Q Sarawan, is with us as well. Thank you so much for coming in uh, this morning. Um, uh, we luckily are in a space right now where... Uh, you must be living under a rock if you don't know about the challenges that so many young women, older women, young girls face yes. um, a, a, in poverty related to sanitary pads and not having access. It, it warms my heart when I go into big retailers and I see they've got that big container at the mm -hmm. door saying, please just put uh, a box of sanitary pads in there. So we have come a long way. But Vivian, I'm sure you will tell me that we still have a long way to go. Firstly, for access to sanitary pads and in the case that you are driving, um, access to better quality sanitary pads. Tell, tell me what is the genesis of this um, project of yours? Thank you so much for having me. Uh, you are right. Um, we have came a long way as a country, but we can still do better. Why am I saying we can still do better? We can still do better in terms of giving our girls um, a good quality sanitary napkin that talks about restoring their dignity. Mm -hmm. And as a foundation, that's why we came up with a sanitary napkin that talks to your health the comfort and also at the same time what is more important a sanitary napkin that will be cost effective and that's when now uh, we decided to mm. design a sanitary napkin for an African child called dignity mm. why dignity it's all about restoring a girl child the dignity of a girl child we can't talk about a dignity of a girl child and we're still giving them inferior brand mm. you know and they're still going through the challenges that we used to go through challenges like your leakages you know mm. your funny smells and all that and that's why as a foundation we saw it fit that we have to come up with something that is comfortable practical to use and that talks to a mm. dignity of an african girl child what does the feedback that you got before you made this decision that this was the way you wanted to go and how you wanted to make a difference what were you hearing from young women especially about them being able to access sanitary pads, but more importantly, the type of sanitary pads that they were able to perhaps even afford at that stage? First of all, I was the victim. Mm -hmm. I've tried different brands and I still couldn't find a perfect fit. I mean, I suffered from leakages, thrush, you name it. Mm -hmm. And that's the common problem that most women um, are going through. And that's the reason we decided to come up with a pad that will address those challenges. And the feedback has been amazing. I mean, from looking at the packaging, when you look at it, you won't say this is a sanitary napkin. Yeah, it's not something that you quickly want to put in your bag. Exactly, so embarrassed, see, exactly. that's all the stigma that so many young girls have to face, isn't it? Mm. And most of the girls, when they saw this product, they were excited. They were yeah. like, wow, where have you been? Mm. This is something that we've been looking for. Mm. You know. uh, Q, you are the, the director of the foundation and very much involved in the hands-on running of the work being done by the foundation. Um, from a man's perspective, what has it been like uh, getting involved in this work and getting the feedback from women um, who say that this has been life-changing? I think from a man's perspective, I am the advocate for change. Mm. Uh, we are not empowered, our minds are not empowered from a male perspective. Uh, it's only when you are educated around sanitary uh, towels and how it affects the woman, then you get to understand the bigger picture itself. Uh, for us, um, as we unfolded the vision, we wanted to go out there and give hope to a young girl as well as uh, women in general. So basically we wanted to restore their dignity so that they too can not miss school um, a day uh, at school because mm -hmm. most of them don't go to school because they don't have sanitary towels. Yeah. And, and, and in that regard you uh, have now been licensed by the Department of Education to manufacture and distribute these organic sanitary pads to 6,000 public schools in all nine provinces. What kind of impact are you hoping that will have? Well we currently been having activation drives since last year 
Uh, the feedback has been phenomenal. That's how the Department of Education came on board, Gauteng Province. Um, so we currently have a memorandum of understanding together with them from a collaboration and partnership point of view. So there's different key stakeholders that have come on board uh, within the private and public uh, sector itself. Uh, Vivian, what makes this organic and what for you makes you believe that this is safer for our young women to, to use? Um, firstly, it's how it has been designed. Um, if you look at a normal sanitary napkin, it will have three to five layers. Where else with this one, we have eight layers. Uh, and it addresses your health and it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. And the absorption capacity of this sanitary napkin is that of three to five times that of a normal pet. So it doesn't leak. You can wear it for eight uh, to six hours without any leakages. And that talks mm -hmm. about uh, keeping a girl child in school. They won't have to go to, um, to a toilet every three minutes to change a sanitary napkin. So you remain dry, comfortable. Yeah. You even forget that you're wearing that sanitary napkin. And, and, and your pack then lasts longer as well. What, what kind of price point are we looking at here? Um, it is quite affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, and also when you're looking at this packaging, you, will, you have that peace of mind that there won't be any secondary contamination mm -hmm. because it's 360 degree completely sealed. You know, so that's what makes it um, completely different. In terms of price, I will say it is affordable. In comparison, we've already done our own research, checked what is the price range of other sanitary napkin, and we find ours are quite reasonable. And the good thing so about- So a pack like that costs? A pack like this will normally cost you 45 rand. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about the sanitary napkin is that you only use one pack a month. Where else with a normal sanitary napkin, you have to use two. Uh, and what yeah. has it been like navigating the space? Because you're going up against massive, very established, many global brands as well. What's that been like? It's been hectic, I must mm. say. Um, it's something that we've discussed as well as a team. But hey, if you look at this, uh, I mean, I remember saying it to Q. Currently, this is a standard, a benchmark in most developed countries. Mm. It's only in Africa where we are still using your inferior brand. You know, yes, I understand that we are coming, uh, um, we'll be facing the giants in the market, but we are saying for us as an organization, what is more important is about the dignity of a girl child. Mm -hmm. And if most developed countries are using this, why not in Africa? So what's the plan for this packet of dignity? Um, you're in uh, 6,000 public schools, or that is the plan in nine provinces. The plan, what's, what's the big picture? The big picture is to make it available in all the retail stores and is to make it available in every household, every girl child in South Africa. Most importantly, in South Southern Hemisphere, is for them to have access to this. We plan to go to Lesotho as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we've already started the plans um, with some of the key stakeholders in, in Lesotho in ensuring that this brand is also available there. My goal, the end goal, is ensuring that every girl child in Africa is having access to good quality sanitary napkin. I guess you'll never know what is a good quality sanitary napkin until you are introduced to one. And, and we are bringing dignity to our people. And, and Q, I'm sure from the foundation's point of view, um, a, a big push would also be to make sure that this isn't something that only women have to worry about and only girls need to talk about. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, I think we've got five uh, key uh, deliverables. The first one would be the MOUs with the different departments, the collaborations and partnerships. We've just received our uh, SAFRA license for import and export. Uh, so we've just received that. Um, we also um, act as a distribution channel. So basically, uh, with your CSI budgets within uh, public and private sector and corporate world, uh, we are able to, to, to give them uh, these pads so that they can take it to uh, wherever they're donating. And then obviously, we want to be the preferred supplier for mm -hmm. all clinics across, across the country. So we are in um, uh, uh, talks with different stakeholders to move mm -hmm. the pad forward. Uh, one of the um, key uh, focuses for us is creating employment. So we're currently building an app 
where individuals will be able to start their small business where they'll be able to buy wholesale and resell it to the market itself, mm -hmm. creating profits for themselves and, and sustaining their businesses. So doing good and doing business at the same time. Thank you so much Absolutely. for your time Thank you. uh, this morning. Uh, Dr. Vivian McCorme is a businesswoman and founder or foundation founder of the McCorme Foundation and the foundation director, Q Sarawan. Thank you so much Thank you. for your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you.